Good evening and welcome. The Finance Minister of India says there are 42,800 crore parties in India and at least this community of the rich or should we say the super rich should be ready to pay a higher tax or at least a surcharge on the tax that they're already paying. On the program today, we look at the concept of giving back. Is the way to give back by the rich to the poor, to an intrinsically unequal country like India? Is that way through taxation? Is that way through corporate social responsibility? Is that way through charity? On the program today, we ask whether the surcharge on the super rich will in fact mean just taxing the already taxed or will it pull affluent India out of an instinctive bubble of elitism? What about all the undisclosed income? What about the fact that the government's own estimates say that 25 lakh crores of rupees are black money? And then we're not even talking about agricultural income which remains untaxed in this country. Let me start with the Minister for Corporate Affairs Sachin Pilot. Sachin, two things. One is, of course, your, your ministry's own bill that's now been passed in the Lok Sabha that does talk about how companies with over 500 crores of revenue should now be giving at least 2% of their profits back. And then there is now the finance minister invoking the principle of everybody's inner Azim Premji, at least those who have the money to invoke an inner Azim Premji, and saying, look, hang on, if you earn above a crore of rupees, you should be willing to be taxed a little higher. Is this a reasonable argument because if India's economy post-liberalization essentially says that wealth creation as long as it's honest is now a, a virtue of economics then why are you penalizing people who have earned let's presume their money through honest means? Well there are two facts about life uh, that don't change one is death other is taxes <laughs> and what we're talking about here Barkha I think it's important to understand the, pros the perspective of why this thing was done out there is a huge perception correction that needs to be taking place in India today because there is rising inequality. While I don't think that we should be taxing the super rich and the you know well-to-do people just so f we can fund the uh, other activities of the government. But if for one year a 3% incremental payment by the people who earn more than a crore, uh, you know, not only is it, I think in some ways symbolic, I think the government only gets about 1500 crores or 2000 crores from those kind of uh, taxations but it's something that in a difficult time when we have high fiscal deficit we have huge social sector spending money is going out and out outlays and programs of development etc just to be a significant visible contributor a tad bit more than everybody else mm. i think that's the symbolism all of this and it's also you know some substantial money for a year the other aspect that you touched upon is about yeah. the companies yeah. paying now i want to make it very clear that the corporate social responsibility that's being mandated that money does not come to the government. So there is no cess or a charge that we as government receive. Yeah. We're only saying it's the money that you've generated from this revenue, from this society. So give it to any back. project. And yeah. do it however you want it, whatever means you want to use. But that money does not come to the government. Uh, first but the all. fact that you're legislating it and now looking also at this surcharge, at the heart of it is the same philosophy. It is an enforced giving back. Let's, let's call it that. It, 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 it's mandated by law, whether it's the tax or it's the corporate social responsibility bill. The question that many of, many of the people here would say is that, listen, hang on, there are people who aren't even paying their taxes. There are people who are stashing away income, evading tax outside India and so on. Now, that community is somehow exempt from all of this and what you're already doing is taxing the already taxed. Uh, many of the companies that you're bringing within this ambit are already paying corporates, uh, are already d donating towards CSR. So why this enforced giving back? Doesn't that contradict the very notion of philanthropy? It's not either or. It's not that you should let people who have made um, um, uh, huge amounts of money, they should be gone scot-free. We must nab those people who are not disclosing their income or not yeah. the right amounts of income. Yeah. But while we do that, it's also important to have some proportionality in terms of who's contributing what. Now, if you ask whether a government servant or a bureaucrat, should he or she be paying the same amount of taxes as someone who's earning more than a crore? The answer to my mind probably is not and there are different slabs of taxation anyway. So the yeah. not so rich pay so much, the super rich pay so much. You can argue about the fact that are you, is that too much tax? In India the highest tax rate is 30%. In some countries it's 40%, 50%. So it's a 3% extra that you pay for one year. And I think if you ask honestly, the debate can go on. But the actual people who are going to pay this money, if you ask them hearts of heart, I don't think they have any opposition to it. You're it's saying a, the amount is so nominal that it doesn't matter for them, I for, so. for their bracket. Adi so. Godrej, if that is the case, then speaking both as an industrialist and as the president of, of the Confederation of Indian Industries, uh, 
is this is this healthy symbolism because the minister is making the point that listen this is symbolic and this is a really unequal country so is this healthy symbolism or is this a symbolism that is anti entrepreneurship as we've heard some industrialists argue uh, as far as the surcharge on the tax is concerned for one year i think it's acceptable only for one year it is for one year no currently. but you 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 are qualifying yes, it by it saying it should be only for one year okay. and let me explain yeah uh, i think it's acceptable because we have a huge uh, fiscal deficit we need to solve it and we should look at every way to solve it because that itself will help growth okay so i think that's fine otherwise high rates of taxes have never collected more taxes in india we had 92% marginal rate of income tax and our growth rates in those days used to be 3% yeah. higher rates of taxes don't mean higher collection of taxes and our rates of taxes both corporate and personal taxes in the developing world are one of the highest already we should not compare ourselves as, as far as taxation goes with the developed world hmm. their situation is different if they grow at 2% they are very happy we need to grow at 8% 10% we need a lot of investment we need savings we need entrepreneurship to be so when you say this is okay so for one year so this is okay is why is it okay like thing for one year huh. but it we should rely on lower rates of taxes collecting more taxes and i agree with you we should broaden the tax base we yeah. should use information technology we should use other means to broaden the tax base make sure all income earners fall adequately within the tax net as far as corporate social yeah. responsibility in the companies bill i support it because and cii supports it because i think it's 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 very important that corporate social responsibility is paid a lot more attention for example skilling and training can create a tremendous advantage in our country where we don't have unemployment we have unemployability yeah we have shortage of people in certain sectors so if we are able to spend money on the right kind of corporate social responsibility it will be very good and what i like about the csr thing is it is left to the companies it is not going to be managed by the government we know that whenever the private sector spends x amount of money usually it's better spent than that that is government keeps that's across the world so therefore i don't believe in higher taxes definitely in the long run but this corporate social responsibility provision i think will add value to so our so you're drawing country. a distinction between those and before i take that to dinesh trivedi such a quick comment from you on that that in principle actually you need to start lowering taxes because in any case it's less than 3% of india that pays taxes there is vast amounts of income whether it's black money and or whether it's agricultural income and for 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 you know there are many poor farmers driven to suicide but there are many flourishing farmers as well and that's a whole different debate that we'll get into but do you accept in principle that india needs to move towards a lower rate of taxation well my view is that we have to certainly enhance the number of people who pay taxes it's absolutely unacceptable to have 3 4 5 percent of this 1 billion plus nation paying taxes yeah. because then people feel cheated that i'm paying all this tax and i'm not getting facilities for it or you know it's not being used appropriately yeah. and there are lots of other people who are in the informal areas making lots of money but paying you know zero tax at all yeah. so certainly tax base has to be increased but don't forget we also pay indirect taxes service tax you know all the other things we buy from the market so the taxes are going out but direct taxes per se i think we have to have a very rational view on what the slabs should be and i think there is always scope for letting the lower income groups to have more net, net disposable income because then they will consume and help the economy grow further so rationalizing of taxes happens it happened just a year and a half two years ago so every year tinkering with it perhaps not a good idea but generally enhance the tax base make it more rational so more money comes into the pockets of people to spend it and then have the economy generate a more faster growth dinesh trivedi this is all very common sensical we've seen a consensus between industry and government but that's not that's not actually what happens and a lot what a lot of people will say is that one reform is a risky word in politics who would know be that better than you you saw what happened to you when you try to increase the hike <coughs> of rail tickets and rail fares putting that aside what a lot of people feel cynical about is the underbelly of undisclosed income is the hidden income of many people for example and i will want the minister to comment on this is is that the government has not managed any effective austerity is that people will say that politicians live in flourishing bungalows which if you value them at market rates would have x amount which you know which, which people who earn just a little over a crore actually couldn't afford those houses so people are seeing all these paradoxes and saying there's hypocrisy here 